As the quality of mobile games greatly improves year by year, we're starting to see AAA quality titles releasing on the mobile platforms with sometimes a PC and console release as well. As a result, I figured I'd showcase seven of the most exciting upcoming mobile games that we can expect within the next two years. Here are my top seven upcoming mobile games of 2024 and 2025. Let's get it poppin'. Project Mugen is a title that was announced in 2023 with very impressive CG visuals. We didn't have the opportunity to see much of the actual gameplay in or outside of the urban city besides a few leaks, but this wasn't enough to give us an understanding of the game. Is this just another open world game with a new skin? What is the gameplay loop? Is this how the game actually looks? Since we haven't seen or heard anything that properly answers these questions, I've decided to place this game in the 7th place spot. I'm excited to hear more about Project Mugen, but without any new information, it's hard to remain excited. You and I will be Almost like a direct answer to Project Mugen, NTE was announced only a month ago. Not only was it announced, but the team behind the game also decided to share an impressive CG trailer as well as actual in-game engine gameplay. This gave us an understanding of the world, gameplay, and what set it apart from the competition. NTE will contain the ability to manage shops and properties, customize and drive vehicles, as well as place us in situations where we have direct interactions with what they call anomalies. Neverness to Everness is still in development with developers listening to feedback after being transparent about the game and its shortcomings after revealing real gameplay. I can't wait to see how much this game improves over time. <laughs> Earlier this year, I had the fantastic opportunity to try Duet Night Abyss in a very limited technical test which allowed me to show off some of the mechanics of the game to all of you. This was a really brave move showing off a game that's still very much in early development shortly after the announcement of the game. DNA is an action RPG with a high degree of mobility and customization of both the visuals and the playstyle of each of the characters. I'm expecting to hear more of the game during Tokyo Game Show, but when we finally do hear more, I'll make sure to let you all know any of the new information. While I am disappointed that Girls Frontline 2 released in China quite a bit of time ago, I'm still excited to see Girls Frontline taken into a 3D landscape with an XCOM style battle system. Girls Frontline 2 has recently been announced for a global release and I'm somewhat excited to understand the mechanics of the game finally. With the game's beautiful characters, dorm systems, skins, and challenging gameplay, I'm sure this will be a title that will keep us immersed for quite a while. In less than 24 hours, the first beta will be available for those who have been invited to try out Tribe 9. Tribe 9 is an action RPG centered around the theme of extreme baseball. It's also based on an anime that is currently available on Crunchyroll. Everything from the character designs, the gameplay, the visuals, all of it is very appealing to me and I can't wait to share some of the gameplay with all of you on the channel. Okay. 
I've been very vocal about how excited I am for Arknight's Infield, especially after playing both the Chinese and global beta tests. Infield takes place well into the future of the original Arknight's title, and the direction that they've taken for the combat is very similar to that of Xenoblade Chronicles, if you're familiar. They've also created this base building system that will help you obtain materials needed in order to level up characters and abilities. As I'm constantly complaining about these games being way too similar, Arknight's Infield is a breath of fresh air in a scene plagued with games that are too scared to innovate and try something new. Whenever Infield finally releases, I'll be there creating content on a separate channel dedicated to all things created by Griffline. A place that may very well be the end of our journey. From the creators of Azure Lane, Azure Premilia is currently in development for PC, Android, iOS, and PlayStation 5. I'm excited for this title for all the same reasons I'm excited for Arknight's Infield. It's doing something different for the gacha market. Azure Premilia takes a bit of what made Power World fantastic with its creature capturing system with a fast paced battle system along with Harvest Moon or Animal Crossing mechanics showing in its farm like system. None of this has been done in the gacha gaming market before, so this leaves me excited to see how they execute all of this. Will it turn out to be something fresh or will they take from games that have already been established and create more of the same? We'll have to wait and see, but I'm really excited because we should be hearing something fairly soon. That's it for my top 7 upcoming mobile games coming in 2024 and 2025. If you enjoyed this video, please like and comment below with the games you're most excited about, and I'll see you when something interesting finally freaking drops. Have a wonderful day, stay healthy, stay safe, and stay chaotic. Peace out, everyone.